Hey Gemini, welcome to your weekly reading for March 2nd to March 9th. I am Charlene Lizette. If you're new here, welcome. Thank you so much for stopping by. If you're returning, a massive thank you to you for being a part of our High Vibe community. As always, I do need to give up gratitude and adoration to my great Queen the Morgan, to whom all my work is devoted to. All right, let's get this party started. Sun, Moon, Rising, and our Venus, Gemini. <sighs> Cool. You know, this keeps happening with this deck, but I'm, I'm going to go with it. So this isn't the first time where uh, this has happened, where it's asked me to use a different deck. <clears throat> I consider this deck um, your girlfriend, the one who has or your guy friend, whatever, uh, the one who says things in a very soft and gentle way uh, because sometimes they're not easy pills to swallow um, and you need a little bit more gentleness, softness uh, along the way. And so the fact that that's the energy of this deck tells me something. The Ten of Wands, Let's get your seven cards. I'm going to pull out your entire spread and then we'll see what's going on. The eight of pentacles. They're all coming reversed. I don't do reversals. The star. Okay, that's beautiful. The devil. I'm also starting to get very emotional. Um, I'm, I'm feeling myself kind of want to cry. Um, and I've been very grounded today, Gemini. Um, mm, the Knight of Wands. The Four of Swords. Okay. You see, when we follow our intuition, when we trust the wheel at the bottom of the deck. I do want to point out that the wheel is such a beautiful energy, right? The wheel talks about things changing, right? The inevitable, the inevitability, oh, that's a big word. The inevitability of things changing. Of change in the air. And it's funny too, because I also had to change my tarot deck. And I also went from this energy of like feeling very good, ready to read, into feeling very overwhelmed, feeling very upset, to be honest with you. What I want to say is I'm, I'm upset. I feel upset. I feel hurt. I feel sad. I don't, uh, and I know this is you, 99, yeah, look at that. Um, there's an energy here of a great release. Yeah. <sighs> Coming to terms with something that this was reversed that may not necessarily feel very comfortable. I'm gonna pull one more for the I I I I want to say that this is about romance, but I actually feel like this is much deeper than romance. I almost want to turn around and tell you, uh, Gemini, that this which you are um, currently experiencing and currently going through, um was brought up or was surfaced because of something romantic, whether it's a relationship, a situationship, a situation where like feelings were reciprocated, a past relationship, you know, just something romantic. Whether it's present or in the past, 
whatever happened, transpired, kind of uh, tilled the soil of your roots. And now your roots are exposed. And do you see how I'm like fighting myself from crying? I'm very much tapped into your energy right now. And it's almost like you want to fight those tears, but a part of you is like, let it out. And you're like, no, 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 no. And the other part of you is like, yes. And so there's the swaying. And if this isn't about romance, it's definitely poured into your romantic life. This is such a weird feeling of like wanting to cry but can't cry. Does that resonate with you, wanting to cry but can't cry? The Ten of Wands and the Eight of Swords, or Eight of Pentacles. The Ten of Wands talks about a burden. Notice how she's carrying these trees, right? I'm sorry, the lighting. She's carrying these trees, or the weight of the world on her shoulders, sorry. She is the tree. And it's a city that she's responsible for. So much responsibility. And it almost feels like she might not be able to carry the weight of this world anymore. Partnered beside the Eight of Pentacles, it's hard. It takes dedication, it takes determination, it takes struggle, it takes adversity. It, it takes a lot of work. Did you come in here, Raven? I just, whoa, okay. I swear to God, I just saw Raven walk in here and she's not in here at all. Um, and what I'll say to you, is that sometimes it doesn't matter how many hopes and dreams and wishes and how much we may want these things to all align and work out for us in the most magical, most perfect, most beautiful way. Sometimes we need to understand that maybe our hopes and dreams or wishes, the things that we want, aren't necessarily the healthiest thing for us. That's the devil right beside the star. You have these big visions, these big hopes, and these dreams, but there's also this codependency, this toxicity, this limitation, bound and locked and chained, but not by you, maybe by someone else, or maybe for some of you, it could very well be you in your own undoing, right? Because if you look at the imagery, do you see at the bottom, locked and chained, and there's a key and the lock within arm's reach, but rather than opening the eye to see an opportunity, there's helplessness here. A feeling like somebody else controls you, something else is controlling and dictating your life, but that's not the case. And continued on with that energy of the devil as the eight of swords, flailing your arms here as the swan, you feel like you are trapped and stuck and there is panic and anxiousness and a fear of, uh, I don't know how I'm going to unleash myself, unbound myself, unstuck myself. But quite simply, Gemini, you're not listening to your heart because the hummingbird is the heart. And the hummingbird says, calm your heart. I'm gonna get that card. Calm your heart, calm your mind and listen. Because the heart can always lead the way when it is calm, because it will listen to the truth. But there's this energy with the Knight of Wands here of like, you feeling like you need to keep going. It's like hard, hard, hopes and dreams, hard, hard, fast moving forward, rest. And that may be the pattern of this week for you, Gemini. With the retrograde here, you may have some planets in retrograde right now that may be impacting you. I would also encourage you to look at your natal chart and see what planets you have that are retrograde in your natal chart. You may have been born under some retrogrades. Retrogrades in planets 
when we are born with them mean that we need to slow down in those particular planets. We need to take a step back. We need to reassess. We need to learn how to rewind, slow down, and be an introspection in those particular planets. The Knight of Wands tells me you want to rush towards, you want to rush towards solution. You want to rush towards, rush, rush, rush. But again, right on the other side, right? It's like good, good bad, good. Good, bad, 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 good, bad. Like, you know what I mean? Saying that, well, that's not good or bad, but do you see that? Like, this, it's erratic, it's anxious, is what it is. The Four of Swords is telling me that this week it is so important for you to rest, recuperate, relax, sleep, go see a, a psychologist, a psychiatrist, a therapist, anybody that can talk to you and help you experience this from a different perspective that's a medical professional. Because this is a lot. And I know you're strong and I know you're powerful, but this is a lot. Honesty. I can't always expect the truth from others, but I can expect it from myself. Perhaps there's a situation that you feel locked and chained to. Perhaps there's romantic feelings involved. And you want to continue to explore those feelings, even though this person has maybe shown a side of themselves to you that isn't necessarily the healthiest. You got the King of Cups, somebody who is so emotionally fulfilled. And, and very balanced in their emotions, followed by the Nine of Wands and the Nine of Swords, two difficult cards in relationships. Again, this almost feels to me like a toxic codependency situation, maybe something that's fueled with a lot of passion, a lot of sex. And so the idea that this sex is what keeps this thing together, well, I'm gonna share with you, sex does not keep a relationship together. Good sex is great for a relationship, but it most definitely does not keep a relationship together. And so I would encourage you during this time, some of you may have a black cat, black cat right there in the beginning. Do you remember that black cat that came in? That wasn't Raven because she's not here. I would really encourage you, Gemini, to take some time to yourself, to focus on self-love, self-care, self-worth, and really see where right now you could do a little bit of self-healing um, and introspection. All right, Gemini, that was your weekly reading. Take a look at the description box below if you'd like to book a private with me, either live or pre-recorded, or if you're interested in purchasing your modern day amulet over at Star Sea Jewels. Thank you so much for your likes, your comments, your shares, your subscribes. We'll see you later, alligator. Peace out. Bye.